Hello guys, it's 2012 Soulful. Today, it's been about two years since I've um, actually tested the amps and the voltage of the Harbor Freight solar panel. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to start out with the volts. Right now I have all three of the uh, solar panels hooked up. So let's try it out. Let's see. I mean, messing my meter here. There we go. As you guys can see, it's 22, 23 volts. So that's pretty good. Like I said, it's been two years since I've had them. So let's uh, let's try out the amps, see what they have. I'm gonna pause the camera and swap over to amps real quick, and then I'll start it back. All right, guys. So I got it swapped to amps, and as you see, it's putting out about 2.59 amps. So you can say about 2.6 amps, which if I'm correct, it should have um, last time I was checking it two years ago when it was brand new, it was about nearly three amps. So I lost about about uh, what four tenths of an amp, which considering you know this being 45 watts, I should be getting theoretically roughly three and a half amps. But I mean, I never got three and a half amps to begin with. I always had about three, so. I guess for two years, considering, you know, the um, original output amps and the current output amps, it's not that bad. So, And these are uh, cheaper panels, too. I've heard, uh, well, the, it's been proven that the monocrystalline solar cells or solar panels are better than the, um, let me show it right here. These right here, which are amorphous, amorphous cells, the um, monocrystalline, they say, are, do better in high heat conditions and less uh, amp lossage over time. So that was one disadvantage about doing amorphous cell panels. But yeah, guys, that's just the uh, the amps and volts of the Harbor Freight Kit after about two years of use. Got any questions? You know comment i'll get back to you as soon as i can so until next time guys hope y'all have a great day great week great weekend god bless